Hi, family! Hi! This is Isel and this is Luisa Chaires and today we want to introduce you a very special top model Woo! Yay! <laughs> Hi, Hi, Gigi! Gigi. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the post care of the incisions She got the surgery and we're gonna explain you how to take care of these incisions, okay? Hi everyone, we, we are he still here with our model Gigi, uh, she got a surgery yesterday and uh, today she already took a shower, first of all she removes the bandages from the incision, she had four incisions, it's one, two, one here on the belly bottom and four, okay? Uh, she already cleaned it, she already showered and cleaned her incisions with water and soap on the fingers, slowly and uh, gentle movements around and over the incision. It's important to mention here that you don't need to scratch it or you don't need to dig it on the incisions, just a gentle movements over and around the incision and that's it. You don't need more than that. Um, as you can see, she have a very good color on the incisions and it's a very, very small incisions. So that's the way that it should look after the surgery, okay? It's important to mention that sometimes after the surgery, you can have some bruises around the incision and that is because of the movement of the instruments during the, the procedure, okay? It's normal. On her case, she doesn't have but it's different in every person. But in case that you have some bruises around your incision, don't be afraid, it's normal. Uh, but uh, that's the way that it should look, the incisions, okay? Um, another thing is that sometimes you will see or you can feel a little bit of uh, ET. Don't scratch it on, on the incisions, okay? Um, sometimes when the scabs are appearing, you will feel that sensation like tingling, like a little bit itchy, itchy, itchy. and just don't scratch it, just with a, just with a, a fabric, a clean fabric, you just can um, slide all over and that's it, okay? And you don't need to put anything else, like um, something uh, like a cream or stuff like that, and uh, just in case that you notice something strange like a redness over uh, or if you feel like a kind of a pus on your incision, that could be an infection, okay? And what we ask it to you to do is take a picture of the incision and send it to us and we share that uh, picture with the surgeons and they can tell us if it's, a, if it's a, an infection and what you need to do, okay? Now, after that you take a shower, you, you can cover it. With the with the bandages okay we're gonna cover some of them and we recommend to cover your incisions for the next three four days no more than 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 five because one of the secondary effect of the bandages it's kind of a rash around your incision because of the stick in the glue of the bandages it's not because the incision it was infected it's because of the bandages. So if you feel that on the third day one of your incisions do not need bandages, don't put it. It's fine. Okay? And this is the routine that we recommend to do for the next two or three days after the surgery. If you feel all of this, um, you will be fine and your incision is gonna heal very, very good. Another important thing to say and mention about the incision is that maybe you will see through outside a small incision, but remember that these ones are deep, okay? So it is important that even if they already close through outside, they're gonna be healing for the next uh, week during through inside. Another important thing to let you know is that yes, you will have here in your incisions uh, some uh, sutures, but those ones are dissolvable. So you don't need to go to any other physician or doctor to remove it, okay? They're gonna dissolve by itself and it's safe for you. 
Okay, with this we end uh, all the post-surgical care of the incisions. If you have any doubt or questions, we always uh, are very happy to help you and answer all your doubts and questions. So Gigi, thank you so much for your help. Thank you for being our excellent model. Uh, this information will help a lot to the patients and we always like to provide the most information that we can so you can be comfortable and confident with your surgery. You're so welcome. thank you. Welcome, bye.